So you, you also mentioned there needs to be um, like accountability when, you know, when there are some bad behavior um, happened from the police officer, there needs to be, um, you know, punishment or, you know, yes. so like, what would you, um, what's, how would you, um, I guess, you know, come up a plan to, to address that issue? I think that's kind of one thing uh, the community is, you know, not happy about, you know, which is, you know, the, the accountability from the, from the police department. That's right. I, I think part of the problem is because a lot of times you have internal affairs come in and do the investigation mm -hmm. and it's done folk of secrecy. Nobody knows what's going on. No one knows what's being discussed. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an internal investigation, but also an external investigation conducted by community, uh, community uh, affairs committees, uh, community support groups who are part of, who are regular citizens. And they have kind of an advisory community role working with the police department, mm -hmm. working with working with internal affairs. <laughs> and that way they can at least get some information back to the communities about what's going on, what's the status and the progress of things. Mm -hmm. And this way you start building more trust that the if that the <laughs> the investigations are going smoothly, they're going fairly, mm -hmm. and we definitely get to the bottom of it and make sure that the reprimand or the punishment is going to be appropriate mm -hmm. and I think when you get the buy-in from your community especially they feel that you're not trying to pull one over on them mm -hmm. or that just because you got a thin blue line you're going to protect your officer at all costs no no the community should see what's going on and be part of those investigations as well.